Hello everyone, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. As you can see, I don't know if you can read it from there. This one's for my granddaughter. She'll be 16 actually the day this is shown, which is Monday the 31st of October. Um, yeah, so this is for her. I thought I'd do her like an adult theme card. Um, to make this card I use the stamp, stamp sets Floral Essence and I'll be using, no it's just the little flowers and the centerpiece for the flower and for the leaves I'm using Forever Fern and I'm going to be using that one there and the dots. Cards, I've got a 5 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths white card base. This is Whisper White, this one, Thick Whisper White. It's the only thick card I've got. Only Whisper White card I've got. Um, I have a piece of Purple Posy at 5 and 5 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. And then a piece of white at 5.5 by 5.5. Also another piece of white at 5.5 by 5.5 for the inside. I have a piece of white cardstock at 4x4. Four four. This is just for a guide I'm going to use. So I can get my flowers in the right place. Right, to get started... We will grab a pencil and place this, hopefully, in the middle and straight and just draw around it lightly, she says, and she put a great big pencil mark on it. Get rid of that, we don't need that no more. And this is our guideline for where to stamp. So I have got my stamps and I've got three masks. I need to cut out some more because I've thrown the other ones away. Right, my purple posy. What I do is stamp with the corner in the middle of the card, a uh, flower, and just stamp it down. And then I want, that's a single one, I want to put this one, this side, and this one, this side. Oh, there isn't a purple posy that side. I don't know why I've got the big flower out because I don't need it. Clean my stamp off. Close it up for now. And with my blushing bride. I'm going to add one there, then I'm going to add one this side, and do the same this side. So there's two flowers in this corner and two in that corner. need them no more. Right, I've got some so saffron here. But first of all, I want to rub out any pencil marks that are in the middle of the flower. Because you can see it through the um, so saffron. I've 
got to do it on the other one that's how I know you can see through the um, ink so with my yellow I shall stamp it in the middle of each one if I miss I'm going to go back and fill it in seems to be on the purple ones I miss I'll take that back Now we need to cover these up because we're going to do our leaves. I can make do with three. Just move them round. Right, my old olive. Um, I've got the wrong one out. I want the one when you stamp it, it goes in the way because you stamp down and off. Stamp down and off. When you come to the middle, just stamp there. Actually, I need to stop stamping the stem. So I'll move this one to there and then did it again. Do it again in a minute. And that's all our flowers and the leaves and the big happy birthday obviously will go in the middle. I think I've done that bigger but it doesn't matter. I shall add some more leaves I think. So what I'm going to do fills in the inside a bit more one more that's better right now then with the dots from Forever Fern we're going to go round the outside 
and just put dots everywhere and all I'm doing is stamping, stamping off, stamping, stamping off like that. Doesn't matter if they go on the leaves or the flowers. I'm not hiding them. And then I'm going to just stamp the middle. And that is my card front done. Obviously this isn't for a granddaughter, so I'll not be putting to an extraordinary granddaughter on. That is out of the stamp set grandkids. And I have got a butterfly, she said again. Why do I keep losing these butterflies? There it is. Now I've got two. Whether I like that one or this bigger one. I think I prefer the smaller one. These butterflies, these little ones, are out of an old Stampin' Up set with a punch. Can't remember what they're called. I've got a thing for butterflies this week. As you'll see in the last card, the card on Friday just gone, which is today actually. No, tomorrow. This card will be obviously going up the 31st. And the one on Wednesday has a butterfly on it as well. Right. Glue that onto our mat. Then I glue this onto our card base. Oh, I'm going to need to fill this up with glue. Now I've got to show us who can have it that way. Or I can have it that way. I'm actually going to have it that way. And this is um, a retired Stampin' Up die. The happy birthday, which kindly donated to me by a subscriber. What I've done, I've cut out four. Three in white and one in silver. And I glued them all together. Because there's no way you can get this on um, dimensionals. So it makes it nice and thick. And this butterfly, I think we'll put there. I 
this butterfly is covered in um, glossy accents. I think I did about six of them when I um, stamped them out. And there is my card. I hope you like it. If you do, oh no, I haven't got any gems on. Oh, stop that. Let's put a pile of gems on. On this one, I did put quite a few. Right, I have three on the body of the butterfly for a start. Um, two over here, one on the flower. As you can see, I'm just randomly picking a place to stick them. And two here. So that's nine gems on all together. You can't really see the gems, can you? The bright light. Do that. There, there, and up there. And obviously on the butterfly. Well, I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.